now uh, we are continuing with our lecture on financial market and services and we are uh, in this we are we have covered microfinance and the microfinance institutions what should what should be the analysis part for the microfinance institutions how the microcredit enterprises are to be set up and in this lecture when we are continuing with the microfinance we would be we all would be knowing that these microfinance institutions are engaged into cre credit delivery to a particular class or a particular section for the economic development so in this lecture we would be covering the credit delivery methodologies what are these credit de delivery methodologies will be covered in this lecture and we will be continuing with the following contents first what is the credit delivery or uh, what is the credit methodology which is adopted by the MFIs. Second, which models are followed in India and covering these models there are three important models which are covered. The first one is the individual model, the second is the group model, then the Grameen model and the cooperative model. It is very important for us to know what is this credit delivery. Actually when we have started with the microfinance institutions, the one most important thing is that they provide financing facilities like uh, like insurance like financing short term loans without collateral so it is important for us to analyze how they are delivering their credits or how they are delivering credit to the people who need them because the basic objective of mfis is economic development of a particular class of people so when we talk that about this particular class of people the credit de delivery becomes more complicated for the reason being these people are more vulnerable towards poverty towards development and when these people are more vulnerable to it it becomes very important to analyze what should be the methodology for them to deliver the credit coming moving forward why do we need this credit delivery methodology microfinance institutions are the oldest financial institutions in the world because when we go back long in the history we will see that earlier there were small lenders who used to lend money to the people and and gradually it has changed and now they have adopted various lending models earlier there was the uh, microfinance institutions used to exi exist and they also what they do is they also deliver the credits but the methodology was not so appropriate and that is why there were so much of defaults or there were so much of complications for the MFIs which resulted which resulted into credit defaults and resulting in losses for the microfinance institution. So it was thought that we should be developing certain methodologies so that we can have a model that how should we deliver the credits especially to the people who are not aware about the policies who are not aware about the, about their rights and even they are we can say that they are not financially literate the term financially financial literacy is a very important aspect which is to be considered when we are talking about the microfinance institutions the microfinance institutions have different lending models on the basis of what on the basis of their legal forms legal forms means what type of my what type of enterprise it is whom they are giving credit or and what are the methods of credit what will be the channel of the delivery and what will be the governance structure and all these aspects are important for the reason of the sustainability of the mi micro enterprise why this word sustainability has come is because if we observe from the past or some uh, few years back this micro enterprises have existed but there is always a challenge for their existence there are regular losses and even th they are facing a lot of situations in running their basic operations for that case the microfinance institutions have to adopt a approach where they they have proper sources of funds and proper granting of the loans as well when we have sources of funds it is also important that they should be reimbursed properly so when i talk of credit delivery methods two as two aspects are to be considered the first one the first one is ki what should be the sources of fund for the microfinance institution secondly and what how they will be reimbursing or how they will be granting those loans so credit delivery methodology is elaborating all these things and these models are are explained in our la latest slides fine what is credit methodology the basic credit methodology which is adapted 
was initiated by the Grameen Bank model. We have discussed in our earlier classes this Grameen Bank model has come up from Bangladesh and we have adopted this. This is a very successful model in Bangladesh and we have adopted this in India and this model has was innovated with an objective that they would that it would be improvising the credit delivery of the microfinance institutions and in the Bangladesh model we have taken certain steps which are the important elements and which need to be these elements need to be kept in mind first. The first one is identifying the potential customer. When I say potential customer, the term is potential customer, what does it mean? Potential customer means a person who actually requires this micro credit from the microfinance institution. What is this micro credit and to whom it is to be delivered or whom it is to be dispersed? The first thing is the, the potential customer, he should be have, he should be economically and socially backward because these microfinance is meant for young entrepreneurs who are reading uh, who are needing this micro credit fine so first step is that we would be we would be identifying we would be identifying the potential customer for that particular loan secondly we will be organizing these customers into particular group so that in absence of collateral someone should take the responsibility of repaying this loan. Why I am saying this is important is, if we go back to our last lectures and when we were talking about this microfinance institution and how they are different from the commercial banks, the first important difference was that ki these loans are without collateral. What does this without collateral means here? This without collateral means that we are not having any asset as a guarantee for the backup of the loans. Whenever we are not having anything as a guarantee for the backup of the loans, it is again a challenge for the microfinance institution that in case of default who is going to repay the loan. And if there is nobody to repay the loan who will go is going to hold the responsibility. So, the second important step was that whenever we are identifying the customers whenever we have identified the customers we have to create the groups so that there should be a group liability or a joint liability who will be morally res morally responsible for the repayment of the loans once we will identify that what are the what are the potential customers and who will be taking the responsibility of the loans naturally we will be able to give them the loans and we will get the repayment in the proper time period or the fixed time period and it will increase the efficiency of the microfinance institution. The third part is when I have identified yes we have, we have to grant a loan to that particular institution or that particular enterprises then we are going to design a standardized product. For example, if I ta talk about I, I have an micro enterprise which is a dairy industry and in for that enterprise I need a loan. In that case, the loan amount will be something different or for example, someone who wants a loan for building the house that will be quite different. So, in that case, according to the need of the customers, according to the uh, group to whom we are giving the loan, so, so for example, for a handicraft industry, the loans would be different. For any other industry, the loans would be different. In that case, we should have standardized products for a particular type. Then the operating system should also be different. What are the operating system means? How they would be getting the loans because we are dealing with the people who are not financially literate. When the people they are not financially literate, it is very important that they should be taught that how you have to repay the loan and what will be the condition on which the loans are to be given. This is our standard procedure which we follow while giving the loan so that we can deal with the customers we can deal with the customers with discipline and we can also treat the exceptions which are which are coming on our way right so now if i summarize this slide what comes to our mind the first thing that comes to our mind is that a credit methodology is to be followed by all the microfinance institution to provide to provide credit to the micro enterprises firstly then 
For that, what we need to do is we have to identify the potential customers. Secondly, we make group of the customers. Thirdly, we have a standardized product so that we can we can share with them the operations and handle the loan with a discipline. Fine. There are different types of models which are adapted which are adapted in India for the credit delivery. There are 14 models which are existing in India and uh, I can say that all these 14 models are not very much uh, in practice, but still it is important that we should be knowing what are these models. The first one is the associations. What is this associations is whenever we are lending, we are lending to a group of people who are termed as association and then we are lending them. The second one is the bank guarantee. Sometimes what happen is ki we are having microfinance, we are providing microcredit, but still there is a bank guarantee which is associated with that, with it so that there is a, there are lesser chances of there are lesser chances of default fine the third one is the community banking community banking is when a small bank is formed for a particular community and they are handling the banking they are handling the banking system they what they do is, is someone who needs money they provide they make a community bank and they provide money to the person who is uh, who is having excess money to a person who is having lesser amount fine. The third one is the cooperatives you all are finance students you must be knowing what are cooperatives. Cooperatives are set up or co cooperatives are set up with a particular objective which for which a group of people come together and they cooperate with each other, with each other to establish that particular objective. So, in case of cooperatives, the liability is held by the joint cooperative society which is formed for a particular purpose. For example, a cooperative society is formed by the artisans, fine. When the cooperative society of the artisans is found, fine and they are asking for a microfinance, it is very easy for us because we know that the joint liability will be of this enterprise and they would be dealing with it, fine. There are certain unions which are termed as credit unions. They are also form to whom the micro finance institution sanction their loans. So, for this type of for this type of unions also the joint liability can be established. The most important model which comes to our way is now the Grameen model. What is this Grameen bank model? We all are very much aware about it. These Grameen banks are established with an objective to help the to help the rural areas population where we help the farmers, where we help the people who are of the rural uh, areas providing them uh, finance for their small needs and this model is adapted from Bangladesh model where we can uh, we have raised the standard of living of the rural population which are less aware about the banking systems. Right? Then is the group group financing and individual these these two these three methods are very very important and we will be discussing it later on then come intermediaries we all know intermediaries are whom intermediaries are the mediators who provide funds from one uh, from the sources to the destination fine ngos are non government organizations which are set up with a objective that they will be uh, they will be facilitating a particular class which is underprivileged or deprived fine then comes peer pressure <laughs> this model is very important where you would have heard it in the class this what this peer pressure is actually about this peer pressure is when a group of people when we are giving a loan to a particular people and we when a person he is defaulting the loan we have make a group so we will ask the other one to say him to pay the loan then comes the roscas which are also a important source which we will be discussing then the small business and the village banking village banking are the banks which are established in the villages fine so these are these are the important models which are uh, in right now in india now coming to the important the most important which we practice or which can be seen everywhere in the country the first one is the individual model fine what is the individual model individual model is the most straightforward credit lending model what happens is here we give the micro credit or the micro loan to a borrower 
fine and that individual is responsible is responsible for his loan that particular individual is responsible for his loan mfis they provide loan on the personal credit worthiness what is this word credit worthiness means credit worthiness means that how much i am how much i am able how much i am worthy to repay my loan how much do assets do i have in my backup to pay my loan so this credit worthiness is checked by the credit rating agencies and on the basis of this you would have heard about the sibil scores and all they are for credit worthiness you all are finance students you would be knowing about it fine and these these credit worthiness once this credit worthiness is checked then the client is provided the loan if the if the loan is of a bigger size at that time he has to produce guarantee for that guarantee for that loan and it is done so that my microfinance institution is in a comfort because if there are defaults and there are individual defaults it is very much difficult for the enterprise to run fine secondly these decisions are based on the personal knowledge about the client about his credit worthiness about his reputation what is his business position how his business is running what are the client's income sources suppose we have a client who is working somewhere who has a job in that case the income tax return form can be a evidence for the credit worthiness or how much is the client's income it can be a it can be a source for that fine sometimes the my, my microfinance institution also ask for the individual guarantors or and the pdcs what is it post dated checks fine so now we have discussed the individual model let me summarize it what is individual model individual model is it is a straight forward lending method where i am giving credit to a person to a particular person or a to a particular individual what does that individual we need to see in that individual the individual should have a high credit worthiness the credit worthiness is based upon his income how is the size of his business or secondly we can say that what how, how much income or how much uh, how much social status does he enjoy in case when the uh, when the loan is of a bigger size in that case the bank may ask for the guarantee that guarantee can be in the form of first the individual guarantee or the post dated checks from the clients what are post dated checks a check which is signed by the clients at a later date so that if he defaults the bank can deposit that che check or the microfinance institution can deposit that check and recover the amount fine so again now we i have come to the individual model we would be going to the group model this model is followed when it was seen that there are a lot of defaults fine when there were a lot of defaults in the banking uh, microfinance institution it was it was seen that how this default is to be removed can individual repay the loan they don't have the collaterals these people they are having lesser guarantee so what should we do and one more thing which was included with the microfinance institution was that ki they were already giving for the economic and the social development they were giving to the enterprises they were giving to the young entrepreneurs it means that they have certain group of people who are needing that microfinance in that case when there is a group of people why not to lend to a group of people why to lend them individually so this model came into existence where we were paying we were paying or where we are giving credit to a group of individuals fine and this group of individuals are the basic unit of operation basic unit of operation mean they became the client of the mfis now fine earlier what happened in the individual model who were the clients in the individual model in the individual model the clients were the clients were a particular individual but in this case the clients were in this case the clients were a group of group of individuals fine and this group model philosophy was developed by what by the weaknesses of weaknesses and the shortcomings of our last model that is the individual model 
what is the advantage in it? The first advantage is collective responsibility. What is this collective responsibility? I have it, I have taken a loan of 50,000 rupees now. If I have taken this loan of 50,000 rupees and as an individual, I have to, I have to pay it, then it becomes difficult for me. But when I am having my enterprise, I have a group of artisans with them and they are taking collectively taking this responsibility. In that case, I always have the, I always have the choice that I will, uh, I will take the loan from, I will take the repayment from all those people. So, I will grant them and the responsibility will to be all the people. The second is this, they are also a security and this security is for the MFI institution because they are having the problem if there is a credit default, fine. In India, this group based method is also known as SHG BLP. It is very important, it can be asked you anywhere. This question can be asked, what is this SHG BLP program? It is self help group, help group bank linkage program. Find. This is the prominent method of microfinancing in India. What happens here is that is a self-help group is established and they are they finance and they finance from our microfinance institution. Fine. So, let us be very clear that this group model of delivery has many aspects, but one of the important aspects in India where this group based method can be seen is SHG BLP model, which is termed as self help group bank linkage program. What is this program? This program has its origin in India. Say, if, as I have said, the Grameen Bank we have adopted. No, this model has a concept which is his origin is in India and these are considered to be very important bodies. Why? Because in the rural development, there are many self-help group. Many of you have come across also when you were studying certain case studies in social entrepreneurship, you would be knowing that the ladies have many, even the people who are the many ladies, they have formed a group for self-help and uh, for the uh, elevating the women from the party or the uh, from the backwardness of the economic, uh, the economic issues and all fine. So, it is, it is a very important uh, body in the rural development and uh, it is found in all parts of our country, all parts of our country whether they are tribes in Chhattisgarh, in MP, in Gujarat, in Rajasthan, we can find them everywhere. These are NGOs, they are non-government organizations as well as we can find certain government agencies also have made this self-help groups, fine. And what did they do is they, ma they make programs, they make programs for elevating the economically backward section by providing them microcredit facilities, fine. What happens is that if I consider, if I uh, talk about the process in this method, there are 10 to 20 members who are organized in the form of group, fine. And these members what they do is they have their regular saving amount fine and they create a fund. Say for example, everyone they have 200, they have 200 rupees every month they can save. So, when they have this 200 rupees, they are going to create a fund, fine. And with this fund, when they have this savings, they mutually decide to help each other, fine. After some month, when they will see, say for example, they have this and they are uh, 15 women fine. So, they have 3000 rupees and they are artisans. With the 3000 rupees, they will start certain work and when they have started with certain work, then after some time, they can ask from credit from the financial institution, fine. So, these groups will be linked with the financial institutions and in the name of the group, they will be getting that fund. The reason is the whole group will be responsible, fine. What does this mean? Whole group will be responsible. That means there is a, that means there is a group responsibility. All of them, all of them are responsible for repayment. Fine. So that is the basic advantage for the MFIs. The first, what is the advantage of this models? Groups are trained to own joint responsibility. We have already discussed this for the loans that are taken by individuals. 
individual have taken a loan and the responsibility is paid by all the members of the group fine this group ensures repayment from all individuals in the group in case of default if there is a default if there is a default this group this will be this group will be responsible and they will say no we are going to pay on the behalf of that particular person group is a forum and they have some credit discipline that they will repay they will pay the emis or they will pay the repayment installment in a week in a month so they do it fine in case of default to in case of default the group will be playing uh, paying to the clients Se secondly whenever there is a credit appraisal for a particular individual they give their opinion they give their opinion opinion of each individual in the group and it is very easy to get the information it also helps in controlling the cost because when they when we are talking about a group the individual cost is reduced this individual cost is reduced of documentation and all so these are some of the advantages of the group model then coming to the gramin model it is based on the joint liability fine we all know who has introduced this professor muhammad yusuf he yunus he is the founder of the gramin bank he has also received a nobel prize for it fine so this model is accepted by many microfinance institution for credit delivery many microfinance institution have accepted the model because it is a standardized model and it is there is a discipline we all may be knowing we all have seen the gramin bank how they perform they are very professionally performed fine and in india also they have a high success rate earlier there was certain uh, some defaults but now when the uh, when the regulatory system has become very strong this gramin model has become very very successful now then coming to the cooperative model what is a cooperative an autonomous association of person who is belonging to a particular professional community for example the in amul we say it is a cooperative society they have make a society with a with what they have they have a common economic social and cultural goal fine they are cultural needs and aspirations are joint and they are working they are working for they are working for a particular goal and that enterprise which they have formed as a cooperative is democratically controlled means everyone has the right to take certain decisions amul is the best example for it you all may be knowing you all have gone through the case study of the amul fine some operative uh, some cooperative enterprises they have some uh, some members who can finance also but there are certain members who are saving so in that case all of them democratically work together they elect their officer they they monitor themselves and administer the cooperative there is no boss there is no employee but still the cooperative is working with a joint effort why do they work because they have a common goal of getting uplift everyone fine so if i say what we have discussed in this lecture is what are the different credit delivery methods it means that what are the credit delivery methods how the microfinance institutions are delivering credit to the people who need it secondly if i see the credit delivery methods the two broad categories we can see the first one is the individual and in the group in the group we have seen cooperatives in the group we have seen self help and the and the joint liability gramin bank model is also discussed so i think that it is very important for you to read it again what are the models and what are the applications we can see of these models in india this is the exercise which you have to do thank you very much